you do on a rainy afternoon when there's no roof on your addition to keep you dry? You uh, do some electrical work. So that's what we're going to do today. Uh, I'm going to be changing out this little 8 space uh, secondary panel and replacing that f uh, because mainly it's just maxed out. Uh, I've only got one spot available and it was fine for a two bay garage but now uh, obviously the garage is a whole lot bigger, the workshop side of it is going to be a lot bigger, I've got a two post lift that's going to be going in that needs uh, its own dedicated uh, 220. Uh, I want to put a bunch of outlets in there for my plasma cutter so I can move that around the shop. Uh, there's a whole lot, a whole lot more lighting, there's a lot more demand now uh, going to be in with this extra space. So I've decided to upgrade to a 100 amp um, 20 space panel which should keep me out of trouble for for a while I also picked up some don't goof on me it's 14 2 I know it's only for lighting <clears throat> I'm not that cheap but for the lighting it there's no reason to do anything heavier than that um, it's all LEDs that I'm I'm running and a lot of this is just going to outdoor wall sconces and some light fixtures uh, on the outside so there was no reason to waste the money on on uh, on 12 2 12 2 12 2 uh, and I picked up a couple of breakers to go with this so uh, today's job is to swap out that little 8 space for this guy now I also picked up one with a um, with a main where's my finger there's my finger this one has a main shut off on it now I don't I didn't need to get one with the main for a sub panel obviously you don't need that but because this is a detached garage and um, there's a decent walk between this and the main, if I were to pop the main, I'd much rather just walk over to the corner here and reset it rather than have to go out of this garage, into the house, then downstairs. And it's just a little thing, but uh, I wanted a main on, uh, on this sub panel. So, so there's that. So let's, uh, let's get to ripping some stuff apart here and swapping it out. Oh, what a shame. It was so nicely wired and everything. Um, but yeah, too small is too small. That's what she said. All right, well now the wall's removed and the power is turned off and I've double checked that with a meter just to make sure, which is never a bad idea. Uh, obviously the next step would be to remove all the wiring from the existing box, but prior to doing that, I'm going to mark off each one of these circuits because uh, even though there's not a lot here, I won't remember what it is and the bigger your panel obviously the more important that step is prior to disassembling anything. So that came out pretty easy. Now we'll just see what we got going on in here. Once we figure out how to open it. Upside, upside. There we go. So, as you can see with this one, um, got a 100 amp main that comes with it. We've got this very important yellow thing, which I don't know what this is a service barrier. Well, who wants a barrier to good service? And the magical box. Oh, comes with some breakers. Look at that. Isn't that handy dandy? So we're going to have to uh, modify the mounting spot a little bit. Right now it's, it's sitting on two 2x4s two to pop it out a little bit. But I'm going to be finishing off this garage and I want this to sit flush. So we're going to pull out those two backing 2x4s two and mount this directly to the 
um, plywood uh, sheathing from the inside. All right, so we're gonna have to orient this with the main down uh, at the bottom. Whereas normally you, you see that at the top, but because of the length of the wires coming in off my main, uh, there's just no way these were gonna be able to get up and around, at least not cleanly, and I'm not extending them. Um, so we're just gonna go the other way around here with the main on the bottom. That's so actually okay, these panels are set up to go either direction, uh, or even horizontally, I guess, if you really wanted to. Um, but uh, yeah, that'll work. So we'll just get this guy, throw a nut on this for right now, and then I'll secure it to the wall. Reminds me of my old friend, the Swedish Virgin. Good and tight. All right, now I am going to uh, actually be trimming, trimming these up just a little bit. I don't want that much extra wire uh, sitting around in the box, so I'll, I'll stuff some of this down in the hole if I can. But um, I only want this long enough just to do what I need it to do, because the down the road I am. Well, even if I wanted to upgrade the, this, I really wouldn't be able to. I'm maxed out amperage-wise on this main feed coming out to the house. So, no reason to uh, leave anything extra because uh, we're not going to need it. So, what you're doing here is just tying in your two feeds into the main block. And these are labeled. It'll, it will save line and line on each side so it is pretty hard to screw this up but uh, never underestimate an idiot myself included and we snug these down to uh, about a and we'll do the same thing over here And we are in. So all that's left now is, hold on, let me just torque this. All that's left now is our neutral, which is right here. And that goes right into the center block here and it spreads out and goes up the two bars, which I really like this design on these uh, square D panels. Instead of doing a separate uh, neutral, bar off to the side and a separate um, uh, ground bar you've got basically everything tied into one here so that when you're running your wires you don't end up having to have a real long hot and a, or a real long neutral wrapping around and coiling this will allow uh, a really nice looking box <laughs> and who doesn't want a nice looking box All right, so we'll put on the service barriers. These are basically moron caps. Um, so once you have your main service connected, these just pop on to keep, well, supposed to keep idiots from being electrocuted, but if an idiot really wants to, they'll find a way. All right, so our main power is now in and grounded. Everything's ready to go. So the next step is going to be to uh, plop our breakers in, run our existing cables, and I'm gonna pop in probably a bunch of, uh, of fittings up at the top here because I know I'll be fishing a whole lot, of, a whole lot of wires, a whole lot of wires into this thing going down the road here. But 
I'm going to spare you the detail here of uh, tying this in and I'm just going to cut right to when it's all said and done. Alright, so we're uh, somewhat wired up. Turns out the uh, breakers I had are a much older version of the Square D breakers and they do not fit in my new box. So that kind of stinks. Um, but with that said, you know, you get the idea here. We're all wired up. Uh, I do take the extra time to make sure that my wires are all run nicely. They don't need to be run that nicely, but nobody's ever going to see it. But, um, uh, you know, it's just what I do. So, whatever. It's clean. It's in. Uh, I'm going to go out tomorrow, we'll pick up some more breakers, and uh, finish wiring up what I have. And then I'll break into uh, the spools of wire and start running all new home runs out to the new section of the garage. Uh, unless the weather's nice, in which case I can get back on the outside. Um, but yeah, so it's uh, it's wired up, ready to rock and roll. Alright, went and picked up a couple more breakers and wired in uh, everything I need to for right now. So um, plenty of room for expansion here. I haven't run any home runs over to the new edition yet. But as you can see, when I start doing that over the next few weeks here, we got plenty of room. Um, so we're ready to go there. So uh, I think that'll wrap up this episode. Now next episode will be a very interesting one. We've got uh, concrete pouring uh, to be done. So that is going to be fun to watch. And uh, I'm pretty excited about the guy that I have doing it out of Manchester Foundations. He's doing a great job. So uh, yeah, stay tuned for that. That should be out very soon. Uh, as always, thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, criticisms, throw them down in the comment section doobly-doo down below my finger. If you like this type of video and you want to see more in the completion, hopefully, of this project, subscribe button is right there. And please check out any of the other videos you see around here. Also, if um, you're looking for a panel like this, I'm going to put a link in the description. Uh, that'll take you to Amazon where you can order, have it shipped right to your door. And uh, yeah, that's about it for everybody. Thank you very much and have a great day.